Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. <laughs> yeah, that was a really dramatic redo. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to Lumber Capital Log Yard. We are working on the order of 1x10x12s again today. The skitter is down right now. It's having computer issues, so it's in the shop. So the boss is not able to be in the woods today, which put him in a little bit of a bad mood. But, uh, yeah, he's here moving firewood up for Judah right now. And then he's, Judah's not here right now, but he's gonna come up and do a cord. So we're just gonna run the mill and then I'm going to go and get my brother a birthday present because his birthday is tomorrow. And so yeah, I'm gonna leave a little bit early from work to do that. Uh, don't know what I'm getting yet. Actually, I do know, but I'm worried that my dad's gonna go home and watch this video in front of him and then he'll know what I'm getting him, so I'm just not gonna say it. <laughs> it is windy out today, so on goes the hat because I don't want sawdust in my hair. It's cold out today and I was so looking forward to maybe the cold just being over finally, but unfortunately it is not. It's actually gonna get down to freezing tonight which is really too bad because I want it to be summer. I also offer a membership to my channel now. I'll leave a link to it down in the description if anybody is interested. Also, make sure that you check out our merch shop for cool hats, shirts, cool stuff. Check it out. For some reason I always put in the video me removing the debarker hood, hat, I don't know why. I've gotten a lot of comments on why we put the mill in the rest position when we're done using it. Our reason is that the head rig is actually very heavy and so it's better to not have all that weight raised up in the air when you're done and to put it down so that it is resting on the bed of the mill instead of in the air. It's just in general a lot safer, especially since our log yard is set up as a self-served honor system. So people are up here when we are not here. So it's just a lot safer to have the mill in a position that people can't come and really mess with it without the key. So with there being nine across, we need just over 22 stacks high. All these logs on here, I can get one by tens out of. The blade's dull, so we're gonna change it out. We have been running a nine degree, which has been working pretty good. It's a pretty long tooth, really just tears through the wood. They're sweeping the road. Cool. But Grandpa wanted us to try these new ones. They're actually 10 degree. We've never used 10 degree on this mill before, so this is gonna be new. I'm gonna try and do my best to pay attention to how it cuts so I can give him an accurate analysis on what I think. Like I said, this is just something that we're trying out.
All right, we are out of logs, so Jade's just gonna finish up on that last one on the mill there, and I'm gonna go and get us some more. So we have 10 rows here, so we're a little under halfway done. It's getting pretty high. As far as this 10 degree blade goes, I'm actually pretty happy with it. It doesn't appear to be waving at all. It cuts pretty fast, and it also cleans out the sawdust really good. You could see it spitting out the sawdust a, a lot extra than normal. It's a result of the deeper gullet, I believe. But I might be wrong about that. I don't know a lot about the blades. Just what I hear Grandpa talk about. We have one more log on the deck. It's a 10 footer. And so I'm going to cut 2x10s out of it because we need them for the garden beds. Then we have to grab some 2x4s and put them over by where my mom makes the garden beds so she can do those tomorrow. And I also need to grease today. I think it's time. Another thing I noticed is this blade did not struggle nearly as much cutting all those 14 inch boards. Usually the blade struggles a little bit more cutting something that wide. So in all, a pretty good blade I'd say. Oh, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at lumbercapital07. And I'll see you next time.